back everybody. You obviously know what time it is. It is feeding time. So I just want to say I appreciate the support on the channel. Thank you guys for coming back for another video. I know not everybody likes the feeding videos, but I know a lot of you do like them. I just try to document for you guys everything that happens in the room with the animals. We're making progress with the ball pythons. So if you guys have been following along, a lot of the 2001 babies were all on live. No problems eating them, eating every week. Last feeding, last week, um, was pre-killed. And shockingly, 10 of them ate pre-killed, no problem. So hopefully we can have the same good luck now and get all 10 of them to eat pre-killed again. Next week, possibly, we could go try them frozen. So since they're, I don't really mind feeding them what they want to eat. So a lot of people are super against live. And if it's a necessity for your snake to eat, I don't have a problem with that. Um, glorifying it for it to be something that it shouldn't be, I have, I have an issue with that. Um, but to starve your snake just so it gets hungry enough to eat a frozen thawed rat, I think that's kind of wrong and it's kind of a little bit, a little bit of some animal abuse going on, but I think that's another topic for later on because I've heard of some people like they, if their ball python only wants a live, they won't feed it for like six months until it's like really hungry. So I'm just like, just feed it what it wants. You need your animals to live. You need them to be healthy. And you know, sometimes it is what it is. So luckily these uh, are doing very well on transitioning over. So we'll see how it goes today. We might not have such great luck. So before we get into this, all of the hides, and I believe I removed all of the water as well, because when they're eating and they're wrapping, that's just, that stuff just kind of gets in the way. So these are all pretty much the exact same size, and they're not a ridiculous size. Oh, there, was, there we go. Meal, basically it'll be the same size as their body, so. Not power feeding, not overfeeding, and they're all on rats. So no, none of them are eating mice, which is very thankful on that. I, I hear some people that have some that are on mice and it's a pain in the butt. So that one was the male mystic potion. Um, and then this is a female banana pied so this is 2021 very very late 2021 and we'll see if she eats so i'm you know i'm very very pleased that they're on pre-killed right now so this girl's growing up very quickly i got her i think october and i got her like a week out of the egg and i wanted to get the challenge to see if i can get her on her first meal and she no problem. So we'll check back on some of these in a little bit. And then here's the black pastel, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna call this black pastel. Black Mexican king snake, growing nicely. Very nice shed. And what I'm doing with her is, and you guys can give me some advice if I should bump the food up, but basically I'm feeding the mice to her because that is a pretty big meal on her body. And I mean, sometimes I will feed two a week. I'll space them out, but I don't know. Maybe I should bump the food up for maybe an adult mouse. I don't know. If you guys know a lot about colubrids, maybe you can help me out on that. So the male mahogany is definitely hungry. And we will look over here. These are, I'm gonna save that one for the I'm gonna save these two bigger ones for some of the pies in the rack. So these are all pretty much the same size. So here you go. So we'll just take the water out. I thought I took her his water out because he's gonna spill that anyways. So we'll see what happens. Uh-oh. 
This one might ruin the streak. There we go, perfect. Took a little bit of time, but very, very happy about that. I'm going to try to feed these three over there, and those are, this makes me nervous. <laughs> I'll try to find the three, I'd like to say the three smallest, but these right here, how about these ones? These ones look okay. Put those up there, move the lights, and so if anybody's wondering, I'm just using some Pittsburgh tools from Harbor Freight. These are like five bucks. So far they're working out pretty okay. So yeah, these are big meals. So, well, I guess not. That is the same width as the body. I guess, all right, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, looks like she's kind of not. <laughs> well, there we go. Not doing so great on the on the strike. I think it's always funny how they miss. It's like how do you guys survive in the wild? There's a pastel. This girl is. Oh yikes! All right, so she dumped her water. She's definitely super hungry. So that sucks. And I just filled that up too. Normally I have the hides in there and I can place the hide in there and the water bowl like right here against the, this part of it and they can't dump it. But obviously I, she dumped it before I could really do anything about that. Wanna eat, are you hungry? A little bit, maybe. She always seems like she's so hungry. She didn't have any issues last time, but I mean, might break my streak. So let's get you, all right, well, you got the tail, something's going on. Maybe you want it, let's try again. She's kind of going after the camera, but there she is. So. Once she finishes, calms down a little bit, I'll put the hide over her, clean out the water, and everything will be okay. And she didn't dump her water, so this is the ivory, uh, ivory and she pied, and her colors are looking really, really good right now. That's a big meal. Oh well, we'll be alright. There we go. Perfect. So far, so good. We're almost done. Almost. So, this is the one that's probably going to break the streak right here. This fire entry clown. This girl is in shed, so I've been kind of like keeping her area pretty damp. Just so she doesn't have any issues on shed. And I try to offer them food whether they're in shed or not, and sometimes it works out. If they want to eat, they can eat. If they don't want to eat, I don't force it on them. But I don't count them not eating if they're in shed a bad thing because a lot of ball pythons do not like to eat while they're in shed. So I don't think she's, I don't think she's gonna be interested. She came out of blue the other day, so she's only days away from actually shedding. And uh, she's flicking her tongue. She's not acting like she's hungry though, so I'm not gonna stress her out too much on that. So we'll just come over here and we'll go to the Orange Dream uh, and she leopard pied. I'm just going to take all these with me. I'm just going to set these right here on the ground. Does she want to eat? Let's try again. I know, I'm a little impatient, which is, which is not a good thing. I don't think she's going to eat at all. Let's feed... This is a... They're all the same. 
That's a big meal. Look at that. We'll see what happens. So on the big meals, I just will not. Okay. Totally miss. What, 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 what's going on right here? No. There you go. <laughs> oh, making things complicated. So... Who else needs to eat? Super fly clown. This girl has always been a pretty good eater and she's growing up pretty pretty fast. So we're gonna give her a larger rat of the two. Sometimes I have to leave the, oops, that did not help. I just dropped it on her head. Um, she's, and now she's all like balled up. Maybe we should come back to her. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna bring this one over to here. All right, let's see if this one wants to eat at all. I think she ate last week, but I don't remember if she took it off the tongs or if uh, she ate it just when I set it in there, I don't remember. I should probably document some of this stuff on paper. So she's gonna break the streak. And this girl right here, I don't think she's gonna eat either. So we almost made it this week. But she's in shed, so I will not count that as a failure on that. We're gonna feed this girl right here. She's a 2021 as well. If she wants it, she's curious. And of course, of course she misses just like the other ones. So maybe, maybe I have to act like it's alive. Just a little bit. And this is why live is, oh, there we go, perfect. And this is why live is so much better. You don't have to dance these things around and mimic them being alive for them to to want to eat them. Maybe I got to do that to this. So I apologize, this video is taking forever. But this is the joys of owning ball pythons and getting them to eat. So, oh, it looks like this girl's breaking the streak. I'll just keep doing, if she, she's not going to eat I'll just keep doing that off camera and I think it'll be okay. So this girl, she's not gonna eat, which is which is good. So we'll try to feed the the banana clown. We'll see if this dude eats at all. Yep. Alright, perfect. Grab the back leg, but good nonetheless, and then all of the other Ball pythons in here are on smalls, and they do very well. Well, I'm saying that now. They normally do very well on frozen thawed. So one more try, and nothing. So uh, almost had a perfect streak again. Can't win them all, but that is it. And I might just feed that one off to. I might just feed that one off the Mountain Dew. I don't know, we'll see though. Maybe I'll wait a couple of hours and then come back and if it's gone, it's gone. If it's not, then Mountain Dew gets an extra meal because uh, she does need to grow up just a little bit. So I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Not the greatest feeding video, but at least we, uh, we almost got a lot of them, um, a lot of them fed. So let's just check these girls out just super fast. She's very, very pink. Eating. Not finished or close to. These are very large meals. Look at this girl. Very large. So, kind of curious on how this banana doing because that's, that's the one I'm really most worried about or nervous about. 
Whatever we think she's gonna do. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, just to cut back in here really fast. <laughs> um, she's eating, so just to let you guys know that she's in shed and she decided just to eat on her own. She didn't even wrap it. She just bit onto it and then she's just, just starting to eat it, so. The only one that's really, like I said, is gonna kill the streak is her for now, but we're, we'll wait and I'll give you guys an update on the next video.